Let's talk about lips, understanding a key feature of our face. Hello, English learners. Welcome to our new video. Today we're going to discuss an interesting part of our body that's very important for speech, eating, and expressing emotions, the lips. So, let's dive into the world of lips and the various English words and phrases associated with them. The lips are the two soft, movable parts at the opening of the mouth. We use them for many things, for talking, eating, and showing our feelings. When you're happy, you might pull your lips back and show your teeth, also known as a smile. If you're sad, your lower lip might tremble. Isn't it amazing how expressive our lips can be? Now let's look at some specific vocabulary related to lips. 1. Upper lip, the top part of your lips. 2. Lower lip, the bottom part of your lips. 3. Chapstick, a brand of lip balm that helps to keep lips moisturized. 4. Lipstick, a cosmetic product applied to the lips to add color and texture. 5. Pucker, the action when you squeeze your lips together. You might do this when you're about to kiss someone. 6. Pout. Pushing one's lips or one's bottom lip forward as an expression of petulant annoyance or in order to make oneself look sexually attractive. 7. Grimace. A facial expression, often ugly or contorted, that indicates disapproval, pain, or disgust. This also involves your lips. English language is full of phrases and idioms involving lips. Here are a few examples. 1. Read my lips. This phrase is used when you want to emphasize that what you're saying is true or will definitely happen. 2. Lip service. This phrase refers to insincere agreement. If you say someone is paying lip service to a concept, it means they're pretending to support it but aren't actually doing anything about it. 3. Bite your lip. This idiom means to avoid saying something that you would really like to say. 4. Stiff upper lip. This is a phrase often used to describe someone who remains unemotional in the face of difficulty. And that wraps up our exploration of the lips. The next time you look in the mirror, remember how much you've learned about your lips today. They're not just there for show. They're a key part of our language and expression. We hope you found this video helpful, and remember, keep your lips moving as you continue to practice your English. Keep smiling and see you in the next video.